days ago, I couldn't sleep. So instead of closing my eyes, I started thinking about a potential mascot for my branding. I wanted the jellyfish to be the main part of the design since the jellyfish has been a part of my branding since, the fir since I first started creating content. So I thought, what if he was a robot? Then I came up with this. I know it doesn't look all that right now, but it's just a few sketches. The next morning, I woke up and started creating a character sheet for him. I started off the character sheet by sketching a basic pose for him so that we can have a clearer view of how he looks like instead of having a few sketches. Here I was piecing the design together pretty much and getting a good grip of how he presents himself. I wanted to communicate his personality through his stance, kind of like if you look at him or meet him for the first time you already know how he acts. When I added the jellyfish, I didn't want it to look like a normal jellyfish, but instead I wanted to show some personality shine through with a little squiggly thing that the moon jellyfish has on top of its head. I wanted it to look like eyes in a way, like they would squint down when he's angry or pop up when he's surprised. By now, I just finished the sketch and started working on the turnaround. I started by sketching how he looked when you faced him directly, then duplicated that sketch and flipped it over and modified it to show how he looks from behind. From there, I simply sketched how he looks from the side. This part was pretty easy since the back, front, and sides don't really have any challenging parts to get down. I did the turnaround this way since it was easier for me to understand and to get a better grip for where my end position is going to be. I also didn't do a full 360 turnaround since his design is pretty symmetrical and it would have just taken up space. While this technique worked, drawing the 3 quarter views were really challenging, especially since this is my first time making a completed character sheet with turnarounds and character expressions. After I added some effects to the background to make it look more interesting, I started working on his colors. I began with the jellyfish tank and it was pretty challenging to say the least. I started with rendering the, how the glass would look on the outside, then worked on how it looked on the inside. It's pretty hard to explain, but I think you can see what I was trying to go for. Here, I remembered a little trick that you can do where you get an image that has a texture that you want and then overlay it over your drawing and it'll help it come to life in a way. But for now, I took a little break from the tank and started working on his base colors. I started with a white and navy blue cause I wanted him to look like a sailor, hence the sailor hat. I put the jellyfish in and referenced the colors from my Instagram profile picture and left it at that. Now I'm just adding some basic lighting from the stars that he has, which I'll get into further detail about, but for now, I'm just adding some basic values. I also started putting in his colors into the turnarounds, which will be something that I come to regret further down the line since his colors weren't final at the time. Which you can see now where I start changing the colors a bit since I really was not happy with where they were. And I came up with this purple gradient effect on the legs that I really liked and stuck with it, so I applied it to the other parts of the turnaround. I also changed the arms as well to make the contrast between the navy blue and the white a little less striking. I also played with this idea of him having this cape plus skirt combo. I did a little sketch of it in my journal and I liked how it looked there but when I put it digitally, I didn't like it and just resorted back to the original design. When I returned back to the pose to work on it some more, I really did not like the pose. It felt so static and stiff so I loosened it up and made it more dynamic and gave it a 3 quarter view. I liked it a lot more and I feel like his personality shows through more and it's just overall fun to look at. Let's start on the character illustration and talk about his story while we're at it. CJ is a voyager and lives within the galaxy of Odyssey, which is where all the stories I tell live. CJ does not have one home he settled on, but instead ventures through the galaxy experiencing what Odyssey has to offer. He lives in a spaceship with his fellow companions, the Novas, which is an alien race that lives in meteors, also known as shooting stars. Together, they escapade and tell stories to any who will listen. These stories reflect how life is in Odyssey and are told with events that unfolded within the countless star systems. Although CJ is not the only Voyager out there, in fact, other Voyagers also explore Odyssey, but sometimes they come together and hear the stories that CJ has to tell. He hopes that the stories he tell spark creativity and imagination to those who listen. He hopes that someday, others like him continue to tell stories, 
because a world without stories and wonder is a world without growth or community. The stories we tell bring us together and form a bond that bring a better tomorrow. You might be wondering, who are these other voyagers? Well, you are. As I make my way through Odyssey, I want to bring you along with me. Together we can grow and wonder and journey through the potential of what could be. Strap on and enjoy the ride. A new adventure awaits Starward.